Ruth Bowie has severe cerebral palsy. She needs to live in a home that can offer the highest level of care. Peter Rabbit. And you like Peter Rabbit, do you? But last August, her brother Simon was told her care home was closing in just nine days. It was an enormous shock to hear that they intended to close it, uh, but to hear that it was to be closed in such a ridiculously short time period was frankly incredible. This is Ruth's old home, Harbour Close in Runcorn. It was run by the charity Scope. Simon says the day of the move was unbearable. There was a skip for the, the luggage and furniture. And this had been a home and the home of 11 other people piled on the driveway. And people were in tears and people were shocked and people didn't know where they were going. Uh, that was one of the most distressing days uh, of my life. We trusted them with the care of our loved ones and that trust was abused. Today, Scope told us, the decision to close Harbour Close was a very difficult one, but care there had fallen below the very high standards the charity expects and it did support each person to find a new home. But this closure is a far from isolated case, as our investigation reveals. England's local authorities told us they dealt with 144 care home closures last year, and 58 of those homes, that's 40% of them, closed at short notice in less than three months. This is Dilly. Imogen's 96-year-old mother-in-law, Dilly, has just had to move out of a home in Doncaster that's closing. It was very stressful. Um, because we knew everyone else would be looking as well. Um, and so it's, it, it, you're in like a mad, a mad race. We didn't know how, lo you know how long anything was going to take and we didn't know whether her care was going to suffer in the meantime. This is where Dilly used to live. It's the local authority which is legally responsible for making sure residents have somewhere to go. But as these local councillors explain, swift closure can leave them struggling to get another 25, 30, maybe 40 people suddenly thrown at us. It was an incredible strain on Lancaster Council. It does come as a bit of a shock when all of a sudden they say uh, we can't continue to run it any longer because of financial problems. Care home providers say one in four homes are barely hanging on, struggling both to recruit and retain staff and to balance their books. And once a closure becomes public knowledge, it's hard to persuade staff to stay. What we have to be clear about is a home cannot run if its staff have left the building. It cannot continue to operate. And so the challenge for local authorities is at the moment that they have received notification of a closure of a home, they have to move very quickly in order to create stability for the people that we care for. Simon can't believe there aren't better safeguards to prevent closures of care homes being rushed. Ruth was evicted from her home in nine days without any legal redress whatsoever. So it seems to me to be a complete free-for-all. My darling. Simon did manage to find Ruth a new home, but the move has taken its toll. And across the country, many more of the most vulnerable are having to face upheaval. Catherine Jones, Five News.